This is the one, the only, Stray Cat, and this is New Vegas, Episode 7. Alright. When we left off, uh, I was actually not here. I was across the bridge over there. Um, I actually managed to trek my way over here, uh, killed these couple of guys, and avoided the landmines on the bridge. I did not mean to do that off camera well all of that I meant to deal with the landmines but I didn't mean to kill the guys before I got here and I do apologize for that anyway <clears throat> time to move on into Vicky and Vance Casino I don't know what it was brought you to Prim youngster but you mm -hmm. might want to rethink your plans town's gone to hell yeah I can kinda tell who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express, actually. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I figured as much. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, yeah. What well, can you tell me about this job? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was Strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Cowboy Each was carrying robot. something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office... It looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess okay. it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. Well, I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do you know who he was? Where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Hmm. Not for me to say. I don't recall anything. Huh. Some men stole my package. A man in a checkered coat and some thugs. It's a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass by this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. Mm -hmm. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them daisy great con misfits. <laughs> they was talking about a chip. That's a way to look at it. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, what, he was a good bit of notes on him. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Pretty boy. He may have heard <laughs> where they were going. Uh, I'd like to ask you about something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Yeah, I'd say so. Do you have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. All right. Cool beans. Ow. Uh, oh, I could use that to repair mine. Might as well, right? And some stuff I don't need. That I do. Uh, just adjusting myself in my seat. Apologies if you can hear that chair buckling. I'm not fat, I swear. Um, let's see, what else can I get off of you? That would be useful. That, not so much. Um, that would be useful. Service rifle, huh? That's actually a step up from my varmint rifle. Kinda. Let me double check that. Yeah. Damage is 12, but the DPS is 16. As 
damage there is nine, but the DPS is four. Uh, I'll go with the varmint rifle still. And I'll take this one so I can repair it. And it never hurts to have an extra medicine. Uh, magazine. There we go. That's the word. Hey, hey. All right. We'll sell these. Really trade them in for actual caps that are worth a damn. Uh, since I don't use the snipers, I don't need those. Uh, damn, that's all worth six and a quarter pounds. Not bad. About what I expected, really. Uh, hmm. Uh, do I need that? I don't think I need that. I'll just sell those. I don't really think I need a lot of the stuff I'm carrying, but I carry it because I'm used to regular, and I just carry them for shits and giggles. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just sell off ten of those. And we don't need the energy cells. Don't need the frag mines. I actually ended up being blown up a bit by one of the frag mines, so that would normally be three, but uh, I fucked up. Anyway, Hydra is actually useful, so we'll keep that. And long fuse dynamite, we don't need that. Those we can sell, and this we can sell. Powder charges can sell those too, or we can keep them and use them for traps later, but I, I'm not really a trap person. I'm more of a blow people up straight to hell sort of person. So, we can sell that one. Huh. Damage ratio. That might be an accidental holdover from Fallout 3, because damage ratio or damage resistance is more of a uh, ratio. I'm fucking stupid. Uh, <laughs> damage resistance is a, a stat used in Fallout 3. Not here, so. And reading glasses are the same thing, too. Hmm. Sell that. Uh, it always is good to have a couple of those. Super stim packs I don't actually need because the debuff is a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, I can actually buy more stuff, I guess. Um, sell the vodka. Uh, keep the whiskey because that's always good. Wine, mm, not so much. Whiskey is always good. Although, don't have it before you're ready for it, kids. i tell you what. And take a couple stim packs. Alright, cool beans. That'll work. Another satisfied customer. Alright, what can I do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. Oh, well, yeah. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of it. <laughs> That's a way to phrase it. All right. I can do that. Um, yeah. I'll need Bye. to get it going. And let's see. Repair that with that. Repair that with that. And. Hmm. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, call that good for now. Oh, that'll count as stealing. But I know one spot that I can easily do that. Don't, don't go in there. You shit. Okay. I mean, at least you open it for me. But goddamn. Ah, there we go. That'll work. Close the door. Take those. Take those. Take those. 
those. Had nothing. Whoop! That was close. Ah, uh, go away. Okay. Hidden. Howdy. Oh, for f Go away! You fucking. Dangles. Go away. I don't need you here. Okay, actually, what's my stats at? Or a uh, lockpick. Actually, it's good on its own. Okay. Um. There's a spot I can lockpick. I know that. It's gonna be over there, isn't it? This bunch of fucks are sitting. Yep, that's exactly where it is. Howdy. Yeah, howdy. Go the fuck away, you shits. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> I'm going to wait here until they move. There we go. Uh, take those. Jet, I don't actually use. I don't actually use because... I know where it comes from, and I'm not, I'm not going to do that. No, absolutely not. Okay, let's open that. Ah, come on. There we go. Come on, quit detecting me. Okay. Take that, 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 and that. And I'll take these. Should I be able to get into it? Okay. And, ooh, a, no a Nuka Cola. Hey, hey. Is there no nope, nothing else. Okay. Nuka Cola is kind of the uh, main callback of the whole entire series. Really? Howdy. Howdy. Go the hell away. I guess I don't really need you to go away. I'm getting there just fine. Single shotgun wrench. Alright. Alright. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Mm, who are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Well, that's a thing. Uh, who are Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Can we? Yeah, I'd say we can. Tell me the whole story of Vicky and Vance. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first, you, any right. boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, hmm. Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless, too. <laughs> Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police <laughs> and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. <laughs> or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both <laughs> occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. All right. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, goodbye. Happy trails, partner. All right. All right. I, uh, I never get used to that story. That is a uh, bundle of crazy in and of itself. <laughs> Jesus, every time I hear a southern drawl, I start slipping back into my Tennessee accent that I had when I lived there for about half a year. 
hits every single time without fail. Ah, oh, man. Good God's a buff. All right. Okay, that'll work for now. And we'll actually go into the casino. Yeah. Lucky Casino. What is it? Bison Steve. Yeah. Uh, Bison Steve. Steve? Really? <sighs> okay, I'm warmed up now. Bison Steve Lucky Casino. There we go. Companions will... Fuck. <laughs> I was just about to start reading that. Oh. Come on. Come on. Down you go. And there's the other guy. Come in. Eventually. Well, that was quick. Thank you, critical strikes. All right. Uh, take some rounds. Take those. Dynamite's always good to resell. Jet's somewhat good to resell. Alright, let's see what I can repair. Uh, repair that with that. Repair that with that. Submachine gun, that's really only good for selling. Because it does a whole lot of round shooting, but that's not... That's about what all it's good for. So, we'll just... Skip that for now. And we don't need to repair that. Not that badly, anyway. And, hmm. Let's actually, uh, fix the food situation. And, uh, have some iguana bits. And raise my health along with it. Convict. Oh, I could use those. I could use all of that. Okay. There we go. Anything over there? Nope. Nope. Yes, there is. Hey! hey down you go. Sex buds. I wonder what he was trying to pick up over there. Take that and that. And hey, one on a stick. That's the good stuff. And let's see. Anything else in here, usually? There's not. Um, bottle caps are always good to have on hand. Pre-war money. More bottle caps. Nothing there. Pre-war money on the floor. There's more caps. And this spot is actually a very important spot we'll visit in a future episode. Uh, and you'll find out why when I do it. So... There's that. <laughs> Something in the future to do. And I don't need the light on the whole time. And unlock this. Come on. There we go. And let's see. I'm good on ammo right now, right? There we go. That was a good sneak attack. Although now I've alerted them to my presence. So no more sneak attacks. I'll shut this door so I'm not flanked. Hey! Stayed hidden. Not bad. And that sh that green blimp should green blip. Not blimp. I don't think he's that fat. Uh, should be Deputy Beagle. So, switch over to the 9mm real quick. Bottle cap. And fixer. That'd be good if should I get stuck with an addiction. Which I won't, because I'm awesome and have super willpower. Oh, purified water. Could always use that. And... There we go. 
I'm surprised that actually did any damage. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's a leader. Hey. He has a hat I could use. Come on, Jake. More bullets to hit. Come on. Down you go. I'm surprised you didn't actually pick up and use the incinerator. That probably would would have helped him a lot more than you know how it actually did. Take that. Ooh, welcome to level four. All right, let's bring up a lot of skills that I need brought up. Let's do guns and repair to forty for now, and. Hmm. I kind of want to bring survival to 25, but I also want to put some points in the lockpick. <sighs> survival would help me a lot more, though, so we'll put that there. And, let's see. Let's put... Ooh, educated. Two more skill points every time you advance in level. This perk is best taken early on to maximize its effectiveness. And that is what we will do. Anyway, let's loot these guys. This cleaver stuck between legs. That's a thing. Take those. Ah, I accidentally took armor I didn't mean to. Shit on my dick. Okay. Drop that onto him. And let's see what I can get rid of really quickly which is apparently a lot there we go wear that for now uh, actually didn't take that much damage to the uh, lightweight leather armor so we're just going to keep that as is and any other things I can repair oh the 9mm pistol that would be good Pair that with that, and hey, there we go. That is the good stuff. Wouldn't help, wouldn't hurt to have a little extra 9mm pistol to repair with. Not really. And let's down ourselves a uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. There we go. this and we're actually completely out of time i just realized that now thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you want to hear my illustrious voice more and watch more of these episodes and click the like button if you like this video and you want to see more and you know share comment you know i want to talk to you guys give me something come on and <laughs> I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only Stray Cat, signing off.